The last piece that I want to cover today with you is transitions and animations on Google Slides. So the first thing I want to do is show you transitions. I'm going to click on the slide and go to transition. I can go ahead and click on that and I'll have an additional piece window pop up open on the side here. And you can see it says slide transition and right now it says none. I can go ahead and hit the down arrow. Here are my choices. You can see that with Google Slides, there's not as many choices. That's uh, kind of one of the drawbacks to using Google Slides versus using PowerPoint or Keynote. There's just not as many choices. Nonetheless, still a very useful program because it's something that you can access from any computer that has the internet. So even though these choices are limited, it does get the job done. And so um, you'll wanna go ahead and choose one. They do have where you can adjust the speed that you would like. And if you wanna put it on all the slides, you certainly can. Remember a transition is when the entire slide moves. If you wanna see that transition, you could just hit play. The next thing I want to go on to is animations. Notice right here under this transition button is also where you get animations. You can see it says object animation, select an object to animate. So I need to click on and tell the computer what I want to move. Possibly I want to move these words or maybe I want to move these words. Remember, just like with PowerPoint and just like with Keynote, we do have some rules. Your object should only move one time. That's because if your audience is watching uh, things move nonstop, it gets very, very distracting. And it makes it really hard for them to learn the material that you're trying to present. So we want to make sure that while we have an animation, we only want things to move one time. So I'm going to click on the title and I can go ahead and hit add animation. Here are my options here so I can choose which one I want. I should leave it on mouse click. That allows whoever is watching the presentation to decide how quickly it should go. And then I can adjust it um, slow, medium, or fast. And then I can go ahead and maybe I want to do this one and I can add an animation to that. Perhaps for this one, I want to do a spin and I'm going to leave it on click and leave that just as it is. Now when I hit play, you can see that I will have a piece come down and um, to get it to go next, I have to go ahead and click. And you can see that when it's all done, it's at the bottom and it says, Click the slide or press enter to continue. So I can go ahead and do that. And then I'm back to where I was before. So that's how you can preview your um, transitions and animations. Notice it only has one indicator here. This means you either have a transition or an animation. So it doesn't give separate markings like it does for Keynote and PowerPoint. So you do have to be tricky or very careful that you do have both and that you're not just looking, oh, I have one of them and missing the other. So those are how you do transitions and animations.